Let's Jeff, San Francisco today. Let's talk about it. the fog has rolled Ooh. in much cooler today. Yes, I know. A lot across a lot of the Bay Area, we had summer-like weather the past couple of days, and now we're going back to late winter. So the cloud cover not only here in San Francisco, but extending all the way back to those inland valleys. So if you're headed out to Thrive City tonight, you just want to catch some of the action. Maybe you don't have tickets. Definitely take your jacket. We have temperatures in the 50s out here in San Francisco. So as we move through tonight, also be a little bit wary here of some coastal drizzle. If you're traveling near the coast at all, uh, at all tonight, might need those windshield wipers. Then as we head through tomorrow morning, we've got the fog, the clouds, also some spotty drizzle and ahead. We're tracking a slight chance of some showers, also some wind coming on back. So as we move it right into your Friday morning, sounds good, right? TGIF a little bit early here. We have those clouds coming on back here at 730. Uh, chance here of that spotty drizzle. You can see it in the uh, green color. Then as we head through the afternoon, I do think we'll get some breaks of sunshine in here, uh, but also some of those clouds continuing to linger for tomorrow. So that's going to set us up with yet again another cool day. So as we begin, we're starting it off here in the 50s. Got you down to 53 in the Tri-Valley, a peninsula at 54, and we hold with that trend of low to mid 50s over the North Bay, San Francisco, and the East Bay. Daytime highs tomorrow staying on the comfortable side. We went from numbers way above average to now below average here for parts of the Bay Area. So down in the South Bay, got you at 72 in Cupertino, 76 in East San Jose. Let's move it over to the East Bay. No more 100s. You are down to 75 in Livermore, 73 Walnut Creek over to Oakland, 65. And you're going to feel that chill again through the peninsula, 67 in San Mateo and 70 in Redwood City. San Francisco, we have 50s and 60s across the board. And through the North Bay, got it up to 70 in Sonoma, 64 here in Mill Valley. So now that numbers have cooled off, we're going to see another reinforcing shot here. Some cooler air, especially near the coastline as we head through this weekend from this system. Now the bulk of the rainfall is going to stay to the north, but there will be a slight chance of some showers. Also, the wind picking up a little bit. Let me show you that shower chance a little bit better here, and you can see at 430 in the morning on Saturday, spotty showers potential here. Then as we head through the afternoon, we'll get another quick hit of maybe some spotty showers uh, right around from 6 to about 830 on Saturday. So you'll see on that seven day forecast, slight chance of a shower Saturday. Wind picks up on Sunday, 15 to about 35 miles per hour, and it does look dry with some sunshine there on Memorial Day with 60 in San Francisco. Inland Valley temperatures, don't worry. No 100s coming back the next couple of days. We're in the 70s all the way through Sunday. We get into some 80s next week, but thankfully not nearly as hot as it was this week. So I think it's perfect weather as we head through tomorrow. It was kind of crazy uh, today. I actually had to pull out the jacket this morning. <laughs> Yesterday I had flip flops on. Yeah, I know. It's uh, I still have flip flops on. <laughs> It's too bad. It's too much with this back and forth. But oh, yes, yeah. it was very nice with this cool down. Thank you so much, Jeff.